Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's a nasty one here again. and Welcome back to the next episode of the Free Agent Franchise Rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number one. Last episode for the Reapers franchise, we saw us suffer our first loss after we fell behind early 3 to nothing against the Platypie. We rallied back to take the lead in the ninth inning, going up 4-3. to three. And then we put our closer in the game, and Lynetta Betta failed to record an out in the bottom half of the ninth, ending up serving up a walk-off home run to Willie Bacon as he hit a three-run bomb, and the Platypi won 6-4 to four in walk-off fashion, handing us our first loss of the season as we fall to 2-1. and one. Today's episode sees us come back home here, and we will be taking on the those damn grass eaters, the herbivores here in today's matchup. Herbivores come in at 1-2 and two with veteran Olaf Slakov on the hill with elite four-seamer and volatile. And for us, it is young 23-year-old rookie Wagyu Takobi who is going to be making his debut today. And he is a big work in progress. He is developable. He's very young. He has the potential to be developed. But I've already had two swings at trying to develop him in my Saw Teeth and my Heater Shuffle Draft franchise rebuilds. And I failed both times. So maybe the third time is the charm for him to get better. We'll see. Lineup we're going to be using for today's game. Leading off is going to be Camilla Cuffingham in right field. All right, hold on. Okay. Yep, okay. Leading off in right field is uh, Camilla Cuffingham. Batting second is the catcher, Teresa Ketchum. Batting third is Yacker Asherbaum. Batting fourth is left fielder, Axel Torque. Batting fifth, shortstop, Yips Frazer. Batting sixth, center fielder, Vinder Hawkins. Batting seventh is Seb Swolson. Batting eighth is Duder Eldorino. And batting ninth is Takobi. We're switching the lineup around, so bear with me a minute. Put Swolson up here. Uh, we want Razor up at the two. Swolson in the three. Torque is going to be the four. We can have Asherbaum bat fifth, sure. Dude, or Actually, I want him batting fifth. Asherbaum will bat sixth. Uh, and then it's going to be uh, Ketchum and then Hawkins and then Tacoby on the mound. Actually, I want Hawkins above Ketchum because he runs faster than her. So, yeah, Ketchum will be eighth. Hawkins will be seventh. We're also going to be debuting our alternate jerseys here today, but I'm not going to reveal them just yet because it is a surprise for you guys. So we're going to be doing that in just a second. Here's the lineup for the Herbert Grass Eaters as they're going to be having their alternates on today. Leading off at second base, locked in Annabella Stokes. Batting second, left fielder Morton Stamberg. Batting third, locked in third baseman Henry Hamster. Batting fourth is tenth first baseman Grunt Manley. Batting fifth is right fielder Juan Rojas. Batting sixth, center fielder Yoink Sachs. Batting 7th, shortstop Milo Stewart. Batting 8th is the catcher Fiona Clark. And batting ninth is the pitcher Olaf Slackov. And let's go ahead and change into our alternates here. And hopefully you guys do enjoy the alternates that I have cooked up. Alright, let's get it on. Let's jump into it and have some fun. Alrighty, and we're under the lights here at the motor yard. Nice, perfect time to debut the alternate jerseys. But yeah, so the alternate jerseys, I just took the standard alternate colors that the Overdogs play with, and then I put the Reapers logo dead center in the middle of the uniform. And then for the hat, which had the insignia, all uh, fear the bite or something like that, or all bi our bark and no bite, something like that, or all bite and no bark. Whatever they're saying was, I actually replaced it. <laughs> So all of their hats, when they come out on the field, say, Don't Fear the Reaper, in reference to the Blue Oyster, Blue Oyster Cult song. Very fitting for our team. Annabelle Stokes leading off. Second baseman's locked in. Hitting 250 with no homers, no RBIs here on the year. Let's get it on. Wagyu Takobi's going to be on the mound, making his debut today. Four-pitch pitcher. Let's get it on. He's very average across the board. Peter down in the way is outside and low. Ball one. The ball inside is chopped to second. Shortstop, Frazer charges, throw to first in time. One down. Next up is left footer Morton Stanberg with high pitch active, hitting 308. Two RBIs here on the season. And down and away is low from Tacoby. Ball one. Maybe down and in is low, 2 0. The ball inside, that's fouled back, 2 1. First one down and away, fouled off, 2 2. Slide it down. Low, 3 2. Hinge down the way. Pop him up. Shallow right center. Hawkins racing in. Ashbaum calls him off and he'll put it away. Two down. Base is empty for locked in third baseman Henry Hamster, hitting 231. Two homers, six RBIs here on the air for Henry. 
Eater middle of the plate on the first one, line to right field, cuffing him in, makes the catch on the liner, and that is a 1-2-3 inning here for Tacoby to start his career. Bottom one, we're scoreless, cuffing him, Frazzer and Swolson coming up here for the Overdogs, or the Reapers, Jesus. <laughs> That's a mental slip up. Cuffing him up, uh, batting 600 here, and there it is on the helmet, don't fear the Reaper. <laughs> Can't see it with all the pine tar on it, but it's there. Batting 600 on the season. Three RBIs. She drove in all three runs last episode as she went three for five in her first career game. Hit so well that she earned the start in right field today. Contact is ready. Active here against Olaf Slackoff, who is a flamethrower and a very accurate pitcher as well. He's the oldest man in the pitching rotation for the Grass Eaters. And he is the... He does not throw a lot of junk. He basically is going to rely on that fastball more often than not. First pitch is a changeup off the inside corner, ball one. Changeup up and in is a strike, one one. Changeup up, put away, pulled foul out of play, one and two. That bounces off the dugout railing. Peter at the knees, cuffing him skies at left center field, coming over for to Stanberg, and that is the first out. Next up, shortstop Yips Frazzler. He's locked in, hitting 467 with an RBI. Let's go, Yips. Peter up, taking high, ball one. Peter down, taking low, 2 0. Flatter hangs, ripped to left center field by Frazer, heading for the wall. Off the top of the wall, that soul has been reaped and sent to the shadow realm. And the soul will end being kept in the shadow realm, means it's going to be in the statue of old uh, prime Bubba Blastman there in center, where we store all the souls, which help power the, our uh, team power and also the ballpark. First homer of the year for Frazzler. Then shout out to Scootsy for suggesting that in the comments back in the first episode of the series. Love that. Got to bring up first baseman Seb Swolson hitting 533. Two homers, seven RBIs in the air. And there is the statue of Prime Bubba Blastman there in right center, just to the left of the stands over there, just over the Bro Boom sign. Imagine all that soul power being stored in there, kind of like in Ghostbusters. That'd be, oh, that's awesome. First pitch taken high on the slider out of the zone. Ball one. Peter Mill the plate turned on by Swolson deep to left center field. He got all of that one, folks. And that ball has been shent to the shadow realm as another soul has been reaped and stored in the statue. Home run here for Swolson, his third of the year. And that makes it 2 0 Reapers here in the first. As we've served up two center cut fastballs out of the plate, out of the zone, or out of the park. <laughs> Left fielder Axel Tork up next. He's locked in, hitting 467 with a homer and two RBIs. Slack off tense. Heater in there at the knees, 0 1. Heater up, taken high. Good eye, 1 1. Slide at the knees, ripped to short one hopper, picked by Stewart in time to first, two down. And here comes third baseman Duder El Dorino, batting one for three off the bench this year. This is his first start of the season. He's in for an Omar Stubbs today. Peter up, strike called at the letters, 0-1. Peter's away, 1-1, one, one. good eye. Peter's knees lined to first, but right at Grunt Manley, and that ends the inning. To the second, it's 2-0. Manley, Rojas, and Sachs do up. Back-to-back -back home runs there for the Reapers as Frazzler and Swolson both go yard. That was first of the career for Gibbs Frazzler and third on the year already for Swolson. Now batting the first baseman, number 21. Runt Manley. Manley leading off here in the second for the Herbosaurus. He's tense, hitting 077 here to start the year. One for, I believe, 11 or 12, maybe 13. Peter down. That's chopped in the hole to short. Diving fires to his left. Nice play. Fires the first. In time. One down. Nice play, Yips. Next up, right fielder Juan Rojas, hitting 273 with an RBI. He played the last two games at catcher. So he's out in right field, which is actually his natural position here. Slider up in the first pitch from Tacoby, taken high for a ball, 1-0. Peter down in the way, just outside, 2-0. Little down and in. That's a strike at the knees, nice pitch, 2-1. Got ahead there. Peter up and in, inside, 3-1. Change it down in the way. Chopper to the left of the mound, Tacoby over. Fires the first, two down. Going sacks up next. Center fielder is hitless on the year, but he has driven in a run. Change of middle in. That's a strike called on the inside corner, 0-1. 
keep it out of the way. Blew it uh, by him as he swings over at 0-2. Let it run away. Fouled off. Still 0-2. Air ball middle in. Sky ball to right field. Cuffing him back to her right. She's under it. And puts it away. That's a 1-2-3 inning for Tacoby. Six up and six down to start his day. Bottom two. We're up 2-0. Asherbaum, Hawkins, and Ketchum do up. Second baseman Yacker Asherbaum leading off. He's tense, hitting 308 on the air with a homer, four RBIs. Peter down in the way, taking low. Ball one. Peter up and in. That's a strike called from Slackov. 1 1. Peter away, late on the swing. 1 2. Work well down is dumped to right center field. That is going to be down for a base hit as Asherbaum drops that in. He's on with the leadoff single here in the second and back to neutral. He goes. Lead off man on for center fielder Vinder Hawkins in the seventh slot today, hitting an even 500. One RBI in the season. Little hack active. Not yet. He has to be behind yet. First pitch from Slackoff. Heater at the knees. Now Little hack is active. 0 1. Heater up and wait. Chased it out of the zone. 0 2. Heater up. Chased it. Strike three. First punch out for Slackoff. One down. Hawkins retired, and here comes catcher Teresa Ketchum in the eighth slot, hitting 400, two homers, six RBIs, and nine gamer active. We did change the alts one boy. Welcome in, buddy. Nice to see you again. Hopefully your day's been going well. Yes, F Slackoff. Yeah, he is. He's a pain in the ass, but thankfully we've hit two home runs off him today, and we soared both the soles of those baseballs in the statue of Bubba Blastman out there in right center. <laughs> but yeah, the alternates now say don't fear the reaper on the helmets. The logo has been changed as well, but it's the same color scheme. I just, you know, updated it a bit to fit our uh, team. <laughs> Come on, Teresa. Heater up, taking high. Ball one. Heater away, that's a strike. One, one. Heater up in. Ooh, just missed it. One and two. Heater up, blue buyer strike three, back-to-back -back K's for Slackoff, two down. It is a Blue Easter call reference, it is actually the same song, <laughs> Don't Fear the Reaper. <laughs> Jacoby up next, he's locked in. Perfect six for six to start the day on the mound, let's see if he translates that to the hitting box. Heater right down the middle, that's a strike, go one. Heater down, line to center field, net is down for a base hit, first career hit for Jacoby. Two on, two down. Let's get that ball. That's going to put the RBI chance in the hands of Camilla Cuffingham, who's over one today with a ground out. Come on, Camilla. Work up, chased it out of the zone. Bad swing on my part. 0 1. Heater way late on the swing. It's 0 2. Heater up and in, hit through the middle, under the legs of Slackoff. A Stewart there to back him up on to first. That'll end the inning. So he strand two to the third. It's 2 nothing still. Stewart, Clark, and Slackaw. Bottom of the lineup do up against Jacoby. Milo Stewart leading off. Shortstop is rally starter active, hitting 273 with an RBI. We can get it started here in the third. Four seamer up and away in the first pitch. Strike call, 0 1. Ball down in the way. Lined in the hole to third. Past the diving El Dorino. That is a base hit. First hit of the day for the Grass Eaters goes to Stewart as he's on to start the third. Fiona Clark is up next. Catcher hitting an even 333. We're going to get it started here. Her ball away. Check swing strike at the knees. Nice pitch. Show one. Peter down and in. That's chopped at the middle to short. Fries are over. Flips the second one. Asherbaum to first. Double play. You love to see it. Two down, base is empty for Slackoff, the pitcher. Volatile active, he's back to neutral mojo. We're getting his first two strikeouts of the season last inning. Hey, Lawai, welcome in, buddy, welcome in. Hopefully your day's been going well, and here we go. Oh, wow, okay, strong words for one boy. And here we go. He's still going. <laughs> now, now, you two, now, now. I'm the guy who got you in here. <laughs> Peter up, check strike, called here to slack off, 0-1. Ass in jail. <laughs> XBL. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> Dribble down, chopper to third, Eldorino to the line. He'll make the play across. Noodle arm did activate, but thankfully we managed to get it there in time regardless. We do give up our first hit of the day for Tacoby, but he gets a double play ball to immediately erase the runner. Bottom three, it's still two to nothing. Frazzler, Swolson, and Torek, heart of the lineup coming up. 
signing grass up. I was here when he hit the home run for the first one. You have to pay me $800 to play this game online. <laughs> Frazzler leading off. He solo home in his first at bat, first of his career. Trying to keep slack off in fear of the Reaper. Change up, up and in is inside. Ball one. Slatter inside, misses 2-0. Servers are a joke and you try hard to way too good. Not you though. You get to suffer like all of us. I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> You're in the shit. Okay. Alright, you two. Easy, easy. You're gonna scare away Macho when he gets here. <laughs> Heater in there for a strike. What two one? Flatter hangs. Frazzler turns on it deep to left center field. It's on the run. Sacks though will have room as he will put it away. One down. A little more to the left is where you want to hit it. Yep. Swolson up next one for one with a solo homer. His first time up, he hit his dead center. He's locked in. Or no, his was actually more left center too, right there to that little house area. Heater away, misses outside from Slackoff. Ball one. Slider down, then blasted by Swolson. Same spot, Frazzler hit it, and Sachs will run it down. Again, two outs. <laughs> Torque up next though for one today. Grounded out his first time up the short. Nice hard grounder, but it one hopped into Stewart's glove as that changeup misses outside. Ball one. Changeup this time hits the inside corner. 1-1. One, one. Changeup middle of the plate. Popped him up behind the plate. Therefore, it is Clark out of the crouch, and that's going to end the inning. 1-2-3. To the fourth, it's two nails. Stokes, Stamberg, and Hamster do up. <laughs> oh, never change, you two. Never change. Stokes up next, though, for one today. I will admit, this is entertaining. <laughs> Heater up and in the first one. Sky to right center field. Hawkins on the run. And that's going to be a one pitch out here for Tacoby to start his fourth inning. Next up, Stanberg over one today. <laughs> Her ball down on the first pitch. Strike call to Stanberg. 0 1. Peter down and in. Grounded up the middle of the second. Ashbaum to his right back hands cleanly on to first. Two down. Third baseman, number 10, Henry Hamster. <laughs> Hamster up 0 for 1 today. First pitch change it down and into Hamster. Blasted to center field on the line. Hawkins on the run. Lays out just over his glove as it's off the base of the wall. That's going to be a two out double here for Hamster as he's in scoring position in the fourth here. Setting up the RBI chance for Grunt Manley, who is rattled, but he does have RBI hero active. He was robbed of a base hit by the diving Frazzler his first time up. <laughs> it's not easy rolling with Wagyu indeed. And this isn't just any old Wagyu. This is base level Wagyu to Kobe. No upgrades whatsoever yet. Slider put in on the first one, taken That's high from Takobi. Ball one. Manly gets ahead. Peter down. That's chop foul. Out of play. 1-1. One, one. This is C plus Takobi, actually. He hasn't even hit B minus yet. <laughs> He's as mid as Landon Fair. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Two most mid players to ever put on cleats. <laughs> oh no. 1-1 one, one pitch, slider away. That's fouled off. One and two. Ball down and in. Chopper to second right at Asherbaum. He'll take the out at first, and that ends the inning. Nice pitching to Kobe as he strands the two-out double. Bottom four, we're up 2-0. El Dorino, Asherbaum, and Hawkins coming up. Lando was your goat in three? Yeah, and then they down. Debuffed him all to hell in four. You know who else is extremely mid? Lackey Luster. Talk about mid to the extreme. Walker was an idiot. <laughs> yeah, and now he's like one of the most developable guys in the world. El Dorino up. He's uh, woe for one today with a ground out. Peter down, taking low. Ball one. Peter Mill to plate, line to right, just out of play. 1-1. One, one. Actually, no, El Dorino lined out the first this first time up. That's right. I got him confused with Torx at bat. 1-1 one, one pitch, Peter up and away from Slackov. 2-1. Oh, got me on the changeup. That's a great pitch. Chased it inside. 2-2. Two, two. Peter middle in. Jammed him. Popped behind short. Stewart on the run in left center. We'll put it away. One down. 
But my boy, my shortstop is ass. Why do they do that to me? <laughs> uh, first pitch taken inside from Asherbaum. Ball one. He singled his first plate appearance. Chase to change it below the knees. 1-1. One, one. Peter the knees dumped the right center field. That is down for a base hit, and that's rolling into the gap as Rojas and Sachs give chase. Sachs gets to it, gets it in quickly, but it is still a double for Asherbaum, who beats it out. He's two for two. Runner in scoring position. One down for Hawkins, who's 0 for 1 with the flyout. I have his jersey. I wasted $80. $80? Jesus, my Gutterson only freaking costs like 40 No free shipping on 70 is a travesty? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> you have a gutter. That's true, but I also got free shipping. <laughs> Peter taking low. Ball one. Change up up. In there at the letters. One, one. Peter up and in. Chased it high. One and two. I really wish my team was with the socks. I did have a Gutterson jersey. I don't have it anymore. I think I've uh, like stained it all up to high heaven, and I had to get rid of it. But yeah, I got it for 40 I got it with free shipping because my wife had Prime. <laughs> One for two day for Hawkins here. Peter didn't chase the strike three, and that is the first, fourth, third punch out today for Slackoff. Two down for Ketchum, who's over for one today. Fork ball down, in there at the knees, 0-1. Peter down and then sent back at the middle. Knocked down by Slackoff on the ricochet of Stokes. Gets the out at first because of that play. Otherwise, that's a single at the middle. And Asherbaum scores to the fifth. It's 2-0. Rojas, Saxon, Stewart coming up. <laughs> now back the right fielder, number 47, Juan Rojas. I think it was only at the very beginning. Yeah, Sex or Six does do custom jerseys. How did I get free shipping? Oh, that's why, because I also had just recently bought a... Uh, I forgot they don't partner with Amazon. I think it was... At the time, I think I had gotten... I had just gotten, like, a Meaty Marley drop when he first did his merch. So it was, like, literally right after that they did they came out with the custom jerseys. And it's like, oh, you have a shipping credit with us for buying so much shit the first time. Here you go. You get it for free. <laughs> Ah, what a life. Peter up and in on the first pitch. Fouled off there on the swing as Rojas is laid on it. 0-1. Curveball down in the way. Fouled off. 0-2. Light up and away. Outside. 1-2. and two. Change it down and in. Chased it, strike three. First career punch effort to Kobe. Let's get that ball for you. Here comes Sachs, 0 for 1 today. Yoink, still looking for his first hit of the day. Peter down and in, taking low. Strike call, though, 0 1. He's actually looking for his first hit of the season. Flatter hangs, that's chopped the first. Swolson's there, taking himself. Two down. Good start to him. Number 23, Milo Stewart. Oh, you want a custom one. Hold up. <laughs> All right, here's Stewart hitting 333. He uh, singled his first time up and then was erased on a double play. Ground out. Rally starter still active. Change of taken high at the letters for a called strike. 0-1. Oh, Curveball inside, off the plate and low. 1-1. One, one. Away. That is a strike. Nice pitch from Takobi hitting the corner. 1-2. Slider down. Low 2-2. Two, two. Good eye from Stewart. That's a big league take there. Forcing ripping in. Line to second right at Asherbaum. And that's a 1-2-3 inning. Nice pitching Wagyu. Bottom five. We're halfway home. It's 2-0. We got ourselves a good old-fashioned pitcher's duel, folks. Takobi Cuffingham and Frazzler. Two up. There's no custom page. Oof. That's rough. Either, yeah, I need to know that NASCAR how it works, too. They have to have a custom feature at some point, right? Kobe up one for one with a single today. He's still locked in. Eater up and away. That is a strike at 101 on the gun. 01. Slider away. He's cracked by Takobi to right center field. On the run is Rojas. He'll be back for it, though. One down. Slack up now locked in. Here's Cuffing him over two today with two ground outs. Contact with right-hander remains active. 
Changeups outside. Ball one. Peter taking low. 2 0. Good hitters count now for Camilla. Slide at the knees. Rope to right center field on the run. Rojas. He does not get there. It's down for a base hit. Cuffing the first hit of the day. She's one for three. Next up, Frazzer. One for two with a solo home run today. Change up. That's a strike at the letters. Nice pitch. 0 1. Either way, checked outside. Good hold from Frazzer. 1 1. Change him away. One hopper to short. Stewart to second one. Stokes on to first. That's a double play, and that ends the inning. Second one we've hit into today. To the sixth, it's 2 0. Clark, Slackoff, and Stokes do up. Tacopi's sitting on only 44 pitches so far. Not bad. Clark up. 0 for one day for the catcher. She grounded into a double play her first time up. Curve ball away. That hits the corner. 0 1. Gonna go play your franchise? Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. You're looking so help me God. If you say something negative about me, I'll report your ass so hard to Twitch for being a minor. <laughs> oh God. Peter up and in. Good luck, buddy. Hopefully it goes well. That's a pop up to second on the first second pitch of the at bat. Asherbaum there to put it away, and that's the first out of the inning here in the sixth for the Grass Eaters. Next up is Slackoff. He's over one and locked in still. He's gonna bat. Peter up and away. That is a strike call. Though one. Change it down again. Chopper back to the mound. To Kobe fields it cleanly on the first. Two down. He's one of the better fielding pitchers in the league. Base is empty for Stokes, who's over two. Her ball away on the first pitch. Check strike call. Though one. Minor. One boy works in the mines because his parents make him. <laughs> I didn't know they still had mines down there in Texas. Peter down and then that's inside. inside off the ball corner there one one slider away hit up the middle to second Ashbaum to his right back hands cleanly on to first another one two three inning for Tacoby bottom six two nil still the score Swolson Torque and El Dorino coming up it's the heart of the lineup for the Reapers <laughs> you really on bad ball hitter to bear your ass <laughs> AB at bats I'm not like you where I come from the start of a stream and hide like the you are oh boy here we go. All right. Uh, Swolson up one for two with a solo home run today. He flew out the center his first uh, last time up. Bad ball hitter. Speaking of that, active here for Swolson. Change of taken low. Ball one. Change up the letters. Ripped deep to right center field by Swolson. Carrying well. Rojas on the run heading for the high wall. He makes the catch against the fence. One down. It just had. Just ran out of gas. What was it? 18 innings? <laughs> Torque up next, 0 for 2 today. Fly out and a ground out today. Change up inside. Strike called, 0 1. Whoa, almost got beaned on that heater. Slack off lost control there, 1 1. Heater at the knees. Ooh, whiffed on it late. Torque behind, 1 2. Heater up and in. Grounded to short. Right there, Stewart on the charge. He'll make the play. Two down. You little Cinderella story in 22. What, what, what happened? <laughs> Dude, El Dorino up next, 0 for 2 today. Peter up, that's a strike, 0 1. Nice pitch there at the top of the zone. Peter away, blasted by El Dorino down the right field line, hooking into the corner. Rojas on the run, dives out of his reach. Extra bases for El Dorino as it just landed behind his glove. Two out double puts him in scoring position, and that's his first hit of the day. He's 1 for 3. Asherbaum now with the RBI chance. He's 2 for 2. He's singled and doubled last time up, trying to come through here with a big hit. But that will do it for Olaf Slakov. He'll leave locked in five and two-thirds innings today. Just hit over the 70 pitch mark. Seven hits surrendered, two homers, uh, two earned runs, two homers, and three strikeouts. He is in line for the loss. Runner at second is his responsibility. He will miss a quality start by one out. Astros Texas Series had a go. Where were y'all? <laughs> South Slinger, the rookie long reliever coming out of the bullpen. He's locked in. Trying to strand the inherited runner. Slinger on the air, no record. A zero ERA and a no 60 whip. Uh, three appearances this year, one save, five innings pitched, one hit surrendered, two walks, six strikeouts, batting average against of 067. Would like to point out through four games, they have yet to use Leonardo Romero as the only reliever not to make a pitch here this season. They have also had to use Fiona Clark as a pitcher at one point. They were getting blown out so bad at one point, they had to go to a position player. They didn't get one until we got two. Okay. <laughs> All right, Slinger's locked in facing Asherbaum, and they're going to intentionally walk him. Force out at any base now with two down, and here's Vinder Hawkins, center fielder, row for two today. He's going to have to try and be the guy who gives us the lead here, or extend the lead. 
First pitch heater in there at the knees. 0-1 his little hack activates for Hawkins. Slide up and in jammed. A first picked out of the air by Manley and that ends the inning. Good pitching from Slinger to the seventh. It's 2-0. Stanberg, Hamster, and Manley coming up. Stanberg leading off 0 for 2 today as he's going to start against an on fire to Kobe here in the seventh. Throws him down and in. Strike called 0-1. Trying to avoid the top of the zone here with Stanberg. That's his bread and butter. Slider down and in. Ripped a first on the line right at Swolson. One down as he sat slider, but hit it right at somebody. One down for Hamster, who's locked in. One for two with a double last plate appearance. Hamster up. Hangs. Ooh, he was out in front of that one. That had the distance, but out in front. 0-1. Oh, That's got away with that pitch. Throws him down in the way. Fouled off late, 0-2. Oh, 0-2 oh, offering incoming. Slider up and in. Whiffed on it, strike three. Second punch effort to Kobe. Two down as Hamster set down. Here's Manley, who's rattled 0 for 2. Granted, that is for last first time up, or last time up. It's granted that twice today. Double down in the way on the first pitch. Strike called at the knees. Nice pitch from Tacoby. Heater down and in. Check swing strike. It's 0-2. Slider up and in. High. One and two. Good eye there. Change it down in the way. Chased it. Strike three. Third punch effort to Kobe. Another one, two, three inning. Bottom seven. It's 2 0. Catch him to Kobe and cuffing him due up. To Kobe is cruising right now. He's going to bat. Right now, he's sitting on a two hitter through seven. Looking like Ace Von Asen out there, man. Here's Catch him. 0 for 2 today. Come on, Teresa. Get it started. Struck out last time up. Slinger's first pitch slider. Misses low. Ball one. And two asterisks. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Heater up, taken high. 2-0 count here to catch him. Heater up and in. Fouled back over the screen. 2-1. Just missed it. Heater down. Chop back to the mound. Slinger fields it cleanly to first. One down. Oh, really? Tacoby up next. One for two with a single. Still on fire. Flew out to right field last time up. Change up and in. Strike call from Slinger. 0-1. Heater up and in. Chopper to short. Stewart to his left, cuts it off, on to first, two down. Not like every team has been cheating, we just did it too good. Cuffing him the next one for three with a single. <laughs> heater up and in, off the plate, ball one. Cuffing him batting right-handed for the first time today as that heater hits the inside low corner this time, 1-1. One, one. Heater up, sky ball to left of center, over for it is Sacks. He will put it away for the third out, 1-2-3 inning here for the uh, Reapers. To the eighth, it's 2-0. Rojas, Saxon, and Stewart do up. Love you, Pookie. <laughs> I've shocked Mache and in here. We're moving really quickly. We're almost at the end of the game. Thankfully, we do have to do some simulating after this because, you know, got to see how the team does without us in control. Rojas up over two today. I think it's for the better. Yeah, he didn't need to hear all this. <laughs> Slided down in the way in the first pitch to Rojas. Grounded the second. Asherbaum right there. On to first, one down. Next up, Sacks, 0 for 2 today. I know he says it's in between you guys. It's like an old married couple arguing, and he's like the child caught in the middle of it. It's probably for the best he didn't hear all of that. Heater up and away, strike call, 0 1. Trouble down and then fouled off, 0 2. We don't think he's ready for it, just quite right. Slider down and away, low, 1 and 2. Good eye. He's up and in. Out in front of it, strike three. Fourth punch effort to Kobe. Two down. Next up, Stewart. One for two of the single today. Still has rally starter active. Peter up and away. Strike called. 0-1. Well down and away. Low and outside. 1-1. One and one. He's up and in. Stewart rips it foul into the screen. 1-2. Slide it down and in. Chopper back under the glove of Tacoby to short, charging Frazzer, bare hands and fires. One, two, three inning for Tacoby in the eighth. Bottom eight, it's 2 0. Looking to add some insurance. Frazzer, Swolson, and Torque, part of the lineup coming up. So, what's the chance of Wild Thrower? I believe it's medium debuff, so I believe it's 5%, if I remember correctly. I can check it since he's actually up here. We can check real quick. Uh, medium debuff is 5%. If it was minimum buff, I believe it's 10. And I think if it's uh, max boosted, it is, or max debuff, it is, or minimum debuff, it's 2.5%. So 
So right now it's at five. Come on, wah. Yips. Go, go. Peter taking Lowen inside. Ball one. Oh. Peter weighs outside. 2-0. Peter down and then blasted by Frazzler to right of center, carrying well. Sacks on the run, gets there on the warning track. One down. Next up is Swolson, bad ball hitter active. One for three with a solo homer today. We're going to come through again here. I face the on fire slinger. Change it down and in, uh, hit the knees. 0 1. Change up and away. Sky ball to right center. Over forward is Rojas. One there, two down. So to get the spike throw, you have to put it in the red? Yeah, it increases the chances there as well, I believe. But no, it actually can activate on any throw you make. It's like for every throw, I believe. Because I remember when I had George Bell back in that Freebooter series we did, it happened to him a few times on some good throws too. But I think if you do the spike throw, it's almost a guarantee it's going to happen, or like doubles the odds on top of that, if I remember correctly. Come on, Axel. 0 for 3 day for the left fielder. Slider away, hits the corner, 0-1, nice pitch from Slinger. Slider up and then ripped to left center field, that is down for a base hit. Torque's first hit of the day, he's one for four. He'll be on with two down in the eighth, here's Duder El Dorino, who doubled last time up down the right field line, one for three day. Slider down and in is inside, ball one, just off the plate. Change up, rip foul, out of play, one and one. Peter up, line to right field. That's a base hit for El Dorino. Two on, two down now. First and second here. RBI chance coming to the plate for Asherbaum, who was intentionally walked last time up. Two for two. He's doubled and singled. So will uh, Slinger throw to him now, or will they walk him? He will throw to him here. Changeups inside on the corner. A one. Peter up, chopped the first right at Manley, though. He's going to flip the Slinger in time to end the inning. So we do not get any insurance runs, stranding two more to the ninth. It's Clark, Slinger, and Stokes due up to Kobe, looking for the complete game shutout. Come on, to Kobe. Here's Clark, Fiona 0 for 2 today. Following her is the pitcher slot, and then it's the leadoff hitter. Clark will bat. No pinch hitter coming. I know they have Nate Hankey. They're not using him here. Forcing him up and down on the first pitch. Strike call, 0-1. Change it down the way. Foul off, 0-2. Oh, Tacobi is only on 71 pitches right now. Like, he's been efficient, too. Double down and then chopped in front of the plate. Catch him out of the crouch on the first. One down. Coming up next is Slinger, batting 1,000 on the season. He's locked in with two RBIs. Pinch hitting for him, though, is the, uh, backup outfielder Steve-O Reeves, whose hit was on the air, but he has pinch perfect active. Gonna go ahead and make a defensive substitution here. I think it would be behooving us. We're going to go ahead and sub in out in right field. Let's catch him, Dill. He can play first base. Okay. We're going to go ahead and sub off cuffing him. We're going to bring in right fielder Hato de la Dagos. He's going to be going out there. He's a better fielder. And Hawkins hasn't hit well today. I think we should go to Walter Walter here, even though we don't have the arm. But I think we'll save him for now. Yeah. I might want to take out El Dorino and put Caboosler in, but I want to save his pinch perfect because I know Tacoby's going to bat if necessary. So... We'll wait for right now. That's the only sub we're making, just De La Doggo. Watch him hit it to right field now. Curveball away on the first pitch to Reeves. Strike called at the knees. Nice pitch. 0-1. Of course, he's repping away. Popped up foul. He's aiming for right field. It's out of play. 0-2. Of course, he's repping in. Jam shot. Fouled off. 0-2. Slider down, chased it, grounded the second. Ashbaum to his right, charges, backhands and fires. Two down. One out away from the shutout. Here is Annabella Stokes. 0 for 3 today. Triple down, taking low on the first one. Ball one. First one down and in. Fouled off. One and one. Change of up and away. Stokes takes just outside. Wise take. 2-1. Of it in. Stokes turns on it, blasts it foul down the left field line, out of play, 2-2. Two -two. Looking for the out here, Tacoby one strike away. Throw ball down in the way. Strike three called! Can I help you, Annabella? No, you just look and get the fuck out of here. Fifth punch out for Tacoby. he throws a complete game shutout, a two-hitter, and he faces 28 
total batters. He was one off of facing the minimum. This is baseline Wagyu to Kobe, still a C plus. No player development added to him whatsoever. I don't get it. Maybe it's the alternates. Every time he pitches, we have to wear the alternates now. That's the rule. Until something bad happens, he has to wear the alternate jersey. And plus, those two home runs in the first inning kind of helped. Uh, final score, 2-0 here today as we had a good old-fashioned pitcher's duel. Back-to-back -back solo home runs from Yips Frouser, the first of his career, and third of the year for Seb Swolson gave us the two-run edge that we held on to the end of the game. Mm, very bad day for offenses, though. Only two combined hits for the Herbisaurs, and one of them was a race on a double play ball, and then we also only had nine hits. So, yeah, wasn't exactly a productive day offensively. But if you were here for pitching, you had a good time. Our only RBIs today, Frazzler and Swolson. Each of them had a solo home run back in the first inning. Those were the only runs scored. Hamster got a double in the, I believe it was the third inning, or fourth inning, if I want to say. And then uh, I believe there was a single in the third inning by Stewart that was erased on a double play ball. So yeah, Hamster's double would have been in the, would have been in the fourth inning. And that is it. Hey, Shanaval, welcome in, buddy. Welcome in. <laughs> Hopefully your day's been going well. You just missed it. It was a nice, solid pitcher's duel today. Ah, uh, pitching line. Slack off only five and two-thirds today. Seven hits, two earned runs, three uh, strikeouts, two home run balls. He falls to 0-1. Slinger, two and a third innings. Rookie gave up two hits with one walk, but he stranded uh, our runners on base. For us, Wagyu Tacobi, a complete game shutout, throwing a two-hitter, striking out five, and he faced only 28 batters the entire game. He was one off of facing the minimum. He also gets his first career win. Good pitching, Wagyu. Good pitching. And speaking of Wagyu, he is the player of the game. Yes, this is still baseline Wagyu to Kobe. This isn't even any player development added to him either. He just did real, that well. Swolson, one for four with the solo homer, is the runner-up. And then Frazer, one for four with the home run as well. He is the third-place finisher. It was nice. Frazer got his first career home run. Kobe got his first career win. He also threw a complete game shutout. I don't know how that just happened. <laughs> But his start could not have come at a better time for us because now our bullpen's going to be fully rested going into the next set of games. So, thank you, Wagyu. I never thought I'd be saying that. <laughs> How did that just happen? Squelch wants a new face for the Muddy Oasis campaign. Who do you suggest? Torque. Not even a question. All right, no roster moves have been made yet. Only a couple development options here. RBI zero for Torque. Although he could use the fielding and the arm, that's a dumb idea. And Walter Volter, 32-year-old, chance to get consistent speed, fielding, and arm. It looks like a decent upgrade. I could take a look at that. <laughs> I say it after a good steak dinner. Thank you, Wagyu. <laughs> solid pun, solid. All right, so now the next set of games here on the schedule, we're supposed to take on the Freebooters. Hmm, Chinning versus Noel. I did say I was getting ready to sim, but I kind of want to play the Freebooters. No wonder he beat the Grass Eaters. <laughs> Indeed. Do we play the Freebooters again? We do not. Okay, we're playing the Freebooters next episode. That's it. We're not even going to sim. I'll save the simming for after that. Probably sim these next uh, three games, maybe after that or something. Or, you know, we'll play the first eight games, and then we'll start simming. Play the first quarter of the season, see how it goes. All right. Well, I talked myself out of that, so that's great. All right, let's sim up to it, and let's see how everyone else does. Blowfish beat the Moose 5-4. to four. Freak Brooders taking on the hot corners to give up a four spot in the first inning. Rally back, take the lead, tie game, tie game, tie game. They win in eight, 12 to 10. Nice job, Freebooters. Way to not choke it. Crocs up next, beat the Nemesis, five to three in a divisional matchup. Nemesis fall to 0 and four. Hot Corners finally get their first win of the year as they hold on to beat the Moonstar seven to three. Beagles taking on the Jacks. Jacks beat them for us. Nice job. Oh, we wanted the Jacks to lose. Never mind. Damn it. Pigs taking on the Sandcats here, and the Pigs are blowing them out. They win seven to two. Oh boy, one boy's Freebooters. <laughs> Why those win? They blow out the Blowfish 11 to 1. Crocs taking on the Buzzards here. Buzzards win in 11 innings, 5 to 4. We wanted the Crocodons to win that, unfortunately. Surlanes beat the Moose 8 to 2. Platypie taking on the Nemesis here, and the Platypie shut them out 4 0 as the Nemesis fall to 0 and 5. 
Grass Eaters bounce back to beat the Salt Teeth 4 to 1. Final game of the Sim Grapplers win a pitcher's duel over the Heaters 3 to 2. So we are only a half game out of first behind the Jackson Buzzards, who both win in the Sim. Crocodons go 1 and 1, and the Nemesis go 0 and 2. Freebooters in their one game in the Sim beat the Hot Corners. It's me and that bitch the wise Freebooters. <laughs> now, speaking of those uh, free bidders, there we're playing them next episode. Uh, I've decided we're going to play the first eight games here just to see how the team does, and then we'll probably send the next eight games after that because I also want to get our first double header in, which is going to be against the Crocodons, and then we also have this matchup against the free bidders. This is the only time we play them in the regular season, and I want to play them. So, yeah, Booters Nation is strong. Reapers, we're going to have our ace, Burl Chinning, on the mound. A record of 720 ERA and a 120 whip. So far, he's had been the starting pitcher that performed the worst of the four that we have. And on the mound for the Freebooters, it is going to be their ace, Wendy Noel. 0-1 with an 844 ERA and a 169 whip. Actually, no, Frogo pitched worse than Chinning did. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well, it's all right. Uh, let's do player development here real quick. What do we got? Not giving you RBI zero. Ooh, good one for Kabooster. Hmm. Ooh, ch curveball for Chinning. We might. We're probably going to try and get this. We have the money to do so. Raconda. Ooh, clutch would be nice. Volter with consistent. We can wait on that one a little bit. Cuffing him. We can get this one in now as well. I think we're gonna. We're definitely going to get Chinning. So let's do his first. Four velo to sixty-four. One power to sixty. Minus two accuracy to thirty-seven. Going for a bonus four velo. Not going to get it. Going for elite curveball, not going to get it either, unfortunately, but it will boost his loyalty a bit, so plus six. Say it to my face. <laughs> oh, he spelled it out, too. <laughs> All right. Um, do I want to get one more of these? Yeah, I kind of want to get Rakondas as well, but I also want to get Cuffing him. And we can get Caboosler, too. Let's just get all four of them. Why not? Let's open it up. Let's get some more stuff coming in. Two Velo to 70. Going for a bonus five. Not going to get it for Raconda for Clutch. Not going to get it either, unfortunately. But she does go up in loyalty by 11 to 87. Next up, Caboosler. One speed to 58. One fielding to 59. One arm to 71. Going for bonus three speed. Not going to get it. Bonus three fielding. Not going to get it either, unfortunately. But plus six loyalty to 70 now. And the final one we're going to get is this one for cuffing him. This has four games on it, so we're going to wait to pick this one up. I just want to get as many options open right now as we can. Two power to 59. Two contact to 60. Bonus two power. Not going to get it. Bonus four contact. Not going to get it either. Going for little hack. Did not get it either, so we strike out on all the positive traits and additional rolls this time. But Cuffingham's loyalty is maxed out, and she's now a B overall, so we take that. So yeah, we went 0 for 3 on those rolls, 0 for 2 on these rolls, so that's 0 for 5, keep track. 0 for 7, 0 for 9. We went 0 for 9 on all those extra rolls. The odds of that happening are staggeringly bad. But I guess it makes up for the fact that uh, Waggy Takobi threw a two-hit complete game shutout, facing one off the minimum. Yeah, that kind of makes that kind of tracks. <laughs> All right, next episode here's the lineup we're going to be using against the free bidders. It's going to be Cuffing him leading off in right field again. Uh, catch him once again will be catching. Then it's Torque in left, Asherbaum at second, Chenning will DH because he's also pitching today. Uh, Hawkins is in center, Swolson at first, Stubbs at third, and Frazzler at short. All right, so hold up. So if that means, if I sub Chinning off of the mound, does that also mean the pitcher I sub in is now the DH, or is Chinning staying as the DH? That's a legitimate question. All right, let's short this lineup around. Since we only got two runs first time around, let's give it a shot here. I'm going to put Hawkins up top. I'm going to put Frazzer in at the two. He homered today. We're going to put, uh, let's put Torque at the three. He's our best hitter. And Asherbaum at the four. Swolson's going to be the five. Cuffingham can be... S Shinning can be the six. Put him there. Seven will be Cuffingham. Eight will be Ketchum. And then it's going to be Stubbs batting number nine. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Steak Torch in the Grass Eaters glitched the matrix. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. It makes perfect sense that way. All right, and then the free bidders, obviously, here's the lineup they'll be using. Oh, my God. Brown locked in. Woodman locked in. Oakley stiffs with his contact trait. Jackman's on fire. 
Okay. One boy's going to be happy. Uh, Evergreen locked in. And it's Brickhouse who's tense. Ducci runs as tense. No surprise there. And everybody's favorite catcher, Jermaine fucking Reigns. <laughs> That's his shortstop. He lives and dies by that man. And fuck Jermaine Reigns. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Nice, quick episode today. The uh, Reapers debuted their alternates today's episode, and it apparently put a glitch in the Matrix, allowing Wagyu to Kobe to throw a complete game shutout, two-hitter, facing one batter off of the minimum in his debut, and he struck out five. And then our only runs came on solo home runs by Frazzler and Swolson back-to-back in the first inning, and after that, nothing else happened the rest of the game. It was that boring. But hey, we threw a shutout. We beat the Grass Eaters. That's all that matters. We're now 3-1 and one on the year, taking on everybody's favorite team, the Freebooters, next time out. It's the only time we'll see them this year, so let's make this matchup memorable. If you made it this deep, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch will be down in the description below if you guys want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. And also follow me over on this platform as well if you so choose. Catch you on the next episode, everybody. Quick shout-outs to Lawai, Shanabel, and One Boy for tuning in and, you know, having a thrilling conversation while we were throwing that shout-out. It was awesome, as always, guys. Uh, love hearing it and also, you know, commenting as the mediator from time to time. Uh, that is going to do it for me this evening, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful evening. Until the next time, everybody, this is The Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening or afternoon, wherever you guys may be. GG's, everybody. <laughs>